How's it going everybody and welcome to another build video. My name is Dan and this is DTM Design. So today we have a quick little build for you. We're doing a Warhammer 40k diorama. Now this is a game we used to play back in middle school. So it's kind of a trip down memory lane for me. Uh, I haven't done anything with Warhammer in a very long time, but I, with the 3D printing abilities now, you can get a lot of the cool figures and find files and stuff. So I figured I'd print out uh, Death Corp of Krieg, which is a figure I thought was really cool, part of the Imperial Guard. And we're going to do a little diorama with it, and I hope you guys enjoy this video, but let's get right into it. Alright everybody, so I thought I'd give you a quick live breakdown of everything we're going to be using. So this has everything I need. This is the box that I put everything in. Uh, I pretty much pre-prepped this whole build uh, back in my old studio. Um, so we have all the wood that we need for the faces. I don't know where the bottom is. I was supposed to have another one of these, but I just don't know where it went. It might be somewhere around here. I'll have to look. That stuff goes missing during a move. But we have these paint brushes. Now we're gonna be using these paint brushes to simulate some tall grass and kind of like, I'll take it all apart off of this and kind of put it on the base and we'll kind of have them walking through a field is my idea. Um, there are some other things in here that don't need to be in here. Uh, but yeah, more paint brushes for that. Uh, we have all this stuff cut out. Now we do have the figure right here. Now the reason I'm going for this field look is because clearly when the 3D print happened, we had a little bit of an issue, so. We're going to be covering it up with the grass and hiding them in there. Um, so that's kind of, it did make the theme of this build happen the way it is. So that's what happened there. And we have a little bit of a felt base for the bottom, a little room to be able to sign the bottom. Uh, I do have lights and everything in a different storage container for it. This is pretty much the, the main chunk of everything we'll need. So let's get on to this build. Alright guys, so our first step here is to simply uh, go ahead and start putting together this base and uh, just squaring it up, make sure everything's leveled. I've laser cut this out. Um, this is a simple box. I have a hole there for the switch that we'll be adding in later for the lighting. And so I simply just go ahead and do some super glue because it's the quickest method and we have our box. So with our 3D print missing a leg, I drilled a hole in him and added a brass rod to be able to stand him up. And I also went ahead and started building this little light fixture thing that we've been using as like where the lighting's gonna go. I didn't record the process, but I used a lot of bits and stuff to put that together. And then we just go simply after priming white, a uh, simple black wash over the figure. Um, just getting those cracks and those details and we'll be adding some base coats after that using this green and a blue. I was kind of going for like a, a German World War II German uniform. These guys are clearly, uh, you know, based off the German military is you can you can see a lot of things that look similar obviously um, so there's the base coats that I did for most of the stuff and now I'm gonna go ahead and paint uh, this as well same kind of method some washes some base coats and we'll come back with some dry brushing after this um, so this is kind of what it looks like uh, painted up obviously I didn't record the process like I said I don't know what happened to the footage but I did insert the LED into that and then clear, create this like clear bubble top uh, we'll go ahead and wire that up later. There's me just testing out the wiring, make sure everything's good. All right, as you can see, we've layered down the base coats and I've added a brown wash over about everything on here. And then I went through and dry brushed all the colors. So from like a lighter version of each color that you see there. And then we started going ahead to create the base. Now taking those brushes you just saw, I'm gonna be using that to create a tall grass effect like he's walking through it. This will cover up the leg mistake in the 3D print. And everything else. So then I go ahead and just start hot gluing that down in random positions. I kind of played with it a little bit to get uh, where I'd want to set it before I went to glue and you can see the remains of all the brushes after going through that and then where we had placed everything and all this is going to get covered. So like I said all this will be covered up uh, once we lay down some wood glue and then uh, sprinkle some salt over it. It'll kind of cover up the first layers here of the hot glue and hide it. Now this is only the very first step of doing the base. Um, so there'll be some more layers to this as we go. Now I had to make a little ring for the switch to fit in the hole properly since I had a different switch prior uh, that I used in a different project and this is the switch I had laying around so that's why I'm using it. So let's go ahead and solder, use some heat shrink and then we're gonna go ahead and lay the first paint down on the base to seal it all in as best we can. That's why I'm not watering it down and laying it on real nice and thick so it seals in all that salt um, and becomes a solid thing and then we're gonna go through with a darker brown wash to start off the first layer of painting on this base. So I went outside and got a few cupfuls of this mulch and random dirt outside. Now I had to put that in the oven to make sure it was sterilized and killed anything that may be living within it before I used it on the base. So there'd be no problems in the future of erosion or decay, if you want to put it that way. 
putting down some more wood glue to layer this down. Now this is a real thick wood glue. And as you can see, we just laid down the dirt real nice and thick. And now I also bought these leaves from AK. Uh, not very happy with them, but they worked. Um, I laid them down and then we also had to seal in the rest of that dirt with some polyurethane. And then we went some weathering pastels to kind of really get a good finish on that base. I painted the sides black and we pretty much finished up the model here. You know, it wasn't a whole lot to do besides put it together, add some flock and a little extra base stuff. And then we have the last piece here, is just putting on this little on-off uh, metal piece assembly for the switch. And there you go, that's the final product, guys. Hope you enjoy it. that was today's build video i hope you guys enjoyed it i had a lot of fun putting together this warhammer 40k diorama if there's any other warhammer related videos you'd like me to do please leave in the comments below as well as any other ideas you might have for me in the future i have a bunch of new videos coming out so please stay tuned please like and subscribe i would highly appreciate that as well i hope you have a great rest of your day and i'll see you in the next one